Hey guys, Oscar Mini here. So PDF Elements has been the best editor, PDF editor I have actually used. And so when they reached out to me to sponsor an episode on this channel, I quickly jumped on it. So in this video, I'm gonna review PDF Elements, a software that helps you read, edit, and even convert your PDF documents to different file formats. This software also helps you sign your digital contracts, quite simply. And so without taking much of your time, Yo guys, let's get started. Now you guys have a basic idea of what this software can do for you. Let's jump into the PC and install it on our machine. Come on. So PDF Elements is actually available for your PC, your Macs, Android and iOS. But here I'm downloading the PDF Element for Windows on here and installing it on my computer. Now I have links in the description to where you can download the software. So all you gotta do is visit this website here or the link in the description box below. And then click on this download link here to start your download. We're actually downloading for Windows here. So click on PDF elements for Windows. You can now save and run the exe file to have it installed on your PC. Next up you gotta do is launching the software itself on your PC. So the first tutorial here I'll teach you guys is how to edit a PDF document using the PDF element software. So once the software is launched on your PC, all you have to do is click on open files and then look at the folder where your PDF documents are so you can launch from there. Now I'm going to open this Microsoft Word test document. It's a PDF document actually and load it up on here. While this document is open, you can now click on this edit menu from up here and use your cursor to highlight where you want to edit and you can easily change the text you want to change. I can easily go in here and select the font I wish and select the font I wish to use and yeah, pretty much edit the font size and all that from this part. Now, there are a whole lot of other things you can do while editing your documents from here. For instance, say you want to add an image to this text. You can just go up here and click on add image, select the image you wish to add in here. You can add your watermark to the same document and a whole bunch of things on here. Now, another reason you might want to use a PDF editor is filling in forms for contracts that have been sent over to you. Now, if you want to fill a form using PDF elements, you just have to import the PDF form or the PDF documents on here and use PDF elements to edit those forms, fill the data you want to have displayed in the form. So let's go into that also. Let's say you want to launch a different um, document. You can easily go back to your file, open and open it or click on this plus icon at the top here that looks like a tab thingy. Then select the form document. So I have a PDF form example document here. So we'll click on that. For instance, I want to fill the address for this form. To do this, easily go to the form menu here and select what kind of data you want to impute. This is a regular text data. So I can select this T, add text here and get the size of this um, input form here. So let's say I get the size. And also there's a tick box here. I wanna fill or tick this box. So I'll select this add check box here and draw the same, the box size also. So after you must have drawn the input um, boxes in the region, the form input boxes in the regions you wish to fill in, simply click on any of the other menu, let's say the view menu and click in the region you want to fill in your data. So my address, Abuja, Nigeria. And for instance, let's say we want to check this driving license box. All you got to do is click on it and you have the check box checked. It's that simple. Now, let's say you filled in your data on a PDF document, but you want to keep a backup of the entry you made in this contract or document. And that would be exporting your data, your filled in data. To do that, all you gotta do is still go back to the form menu here, click on this little more icon as you can see here, and click on extract data. So we are extracting the data over to say a CSV file. So click on extract data. Click on apply. Yeah, save. Okay, let's say you're done editing your PDF document. You've added the images you want to add. You've filled in the form and all that. And let's say that's a contract. You wish to sign a contract right now. Here's how to easily sign a PDF document. While still in this document, you just have to go to the protects menu 
and click on sign document. Your mouse pointer assumes the sign um, space, which can easily draw in the region you wish to sign. So let's say I want to sign up here. I can click on it. Then this dialog box appears and I want to create a new digital ID. Click on next. Yeah, I select this first one, the new PKCS. Click on next. Then the most important things to fill here would be the name and your email address. You could leave others blank. And click on finish. Type in the password one more time. And yeah, click on sign. And so you can save the signed version of your document in any folder you assume or you wish to. So let me write signed documents. Yep, and save. So as you can see now, this document has been signed with your digital signature. There is yet another amazing feature using PDF elements to edit your documents. For instance, say you scanned your document and you want to edit that scanned document. Now you basically have a picture which you want to edit. With the OCR feature on PDF elements, you can edit your scanned documents. OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. So let's jump in and open the JPEG image we wish to edit. It's actually a scanned document. So click on this plus icon yet again, and I'm going to check all files here. Select this one. And yeah, this is it. So to zoom in here, you can press on your control key and your scroll wheel on your mouse. You get this pop-up that lets you know that you can perform OCR on this image. So yeah, perform OCR. Do you want to save changes to no? Then apply to everything here and wait for it to perform the magic. Yep, I can easily edit whatever I want to edit here. Yet another feature I'd want to show you guys with PDF elements would be how to convert your documents, your PDF documents into different file formats. Say an image or maybe a Word document. We want to convert this edited image back into um, one of those formats. Click on the convert menu at the top here and then select what kind of format you want to convert this file or this document into. So I'm going to select something like um, a Word document, so to Word. And here is a pop-up to save as a docx or Word document. So Word documents and save, that simple, converting. So you have this conversion successful prompt or dialog box here. So that's about how to convert any document into your said or preferred file format. And so there are a whole lot of features using PDF elements. And as someone who's constantly signing um, brand deals and contracts, I think PDF Elements is a no-brainer. As you all just saw here, you can read, edit, convert your PDF documents, fill in forms, sign your contracts, and do a whole lot more with PDF Elements from Wondershare. So I'm gonna leave links in the description box below with a discount code where you can get PDF Elements as much as 50% off. So you guys should let me know what you think about PDF elements in the comment section below. I really love to hear from you guys. Other than that, it's goodbye. And I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Kawi